Hey guys, Ivan here. So in this video, the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is Dwayne Walker and his placing at the Indie Pro 2021 that just happened two days ago, this Saturday. Uh, Dwayne Walker was talked about as one of the favorites to either win the show or at least crack the top three, at least top five. However, he ended up in ninth. How the hell did that happen? You tell me. Just take a look at this most muscular right here. It looks, uh, it looks like top 5 Mr. Olympia, most muscular, right? I mean, it does look very amazing. Sure, the legs are a little bit downsized, but not really that much downsized. They, they, they're fine. I mean, yeah, they're a little bit smaller, but like, Blessing also didn't have great legs. And this guy was ninth. So what exactly happened here? Look at this back double bicep, compare it to Blessing. I mean, Dwayne Walker really brought it, like, he was really conditioned, he was big enough. I mean, yeah, the legs are a little bit downsized, but ninth? What the hell? Come on. I don't know what the judges were looking at because like his condition had to toe. Like the, everything is, is is super tight. Everything. I mean the, the, his whole legs, his chest, his abs look amazing. The small waist. I mean uh, from the side he looks very thick. Uh, from the back glutes peeled back full and round and he's just great, very aesthetic as well. I don't see it. I don't see how this physique can be ninth at Indie Pro. Okay, I get it. Justin Rodriguez, preservedly, first spot. Mohamed Al Amam and Dorian Haywood, those guys were really big, really round, really massive, and I can get that. Blessing Alaribu versus Dwayne Walker, I think that was really very close. I would even I, would, I think I would even go with Dwayne rather than with Blessing. Then the other guys like Carlos Chapa, Morgan Nast, Camilo Diaz, and Roy Evans. If it was me, I would give Dwayne Walker third place. I would have him ahead of Blessing. I mean, look at this comparison right here. Pay attention. Why? Why is Blessing better than than Dwayne? I don't get it. I don't see it. I think Dwayne really dominated this stage, and I, I think he easily deserved to be a, at least fourth, if not third, if not third. I mean, look at his side chest. How alive that muscle is. He has the granity look. He also has the maturity. He has the condition. He has the fullness, the size, everything. Truly an amazing physique, and yeah, even though I do get it that he didn't deserve to win the show, I would give him at least 4th or 3rd, and I can say that this was my favorite physique at this show. Yeah, if you compare everything, like conditioning, small waist, the flow of the physique, the hardness, the fullness, the roundness, the shape, the structure, everything, this is my favorite physique. Yep, I wouldn't give him the victory, I get that, I don't think he deserved to win, but, but I do have him in about third or fourth spot. Let's say fourth. Let's say that I would give Blessing actually fifth. And I would give Dwayne Walker third. And Dorian Haywood and Mohamed Del Amam and Justin would be in the top three. That's what I would go with based on the photos and the videos that I saw. But I wasn't there. You need to be there to really know what happened. And then again, it could be just a thing of uh, what the judges preferred. Maybe they wanted to see a bit more massive physiques in the top clouds. So that's why they gave him ninth. But yeah, everything considered, I think he deserved definitely more than ninth. I think most of you watching this will agree that he deserved a little bit more than that. A few spots up. What do you think? Tell me down below. Okay, all right. Morgan Ace, he took sixth, and he was absolutely shredded like like a freaking rock, like he was carved out of rock. So he was hard as it gets. I don't think he could have been any, any more shredded than this. But maybe he was. Overly shredded, like, is that really necessary? I think what Dwayne Walker brought, as far as conditioning, is conditioned enough. Yeah, this is crazy, this is, this is crazy to see, and I'm sure in person it cannot be ignored. It cannot be ignored, it must be rewarded. But then again, look at this flow. Where is the flow? I mean, the lack of the flow, look at it. I don't want to sound like a hater, but I can call this a mess of a physique. He is extremely massive and extremely shredded. And I guess that's why he places so high, but the judges putting him ahead of uh, Dwayne Walker three spots ahead, I don't know, I don't think that's a great idea. I mean, they are basically saying that these kind of physiques are better than those kind of physiques. So it doesn't matter if you have the flow, if you have the balance, if you have beautiful lines, aesthetics don't matter at all. It's all about mass and conditioning. That's what the judges are saying to us. And I don't like that. I mean, yeah, I'm all about the mass, sure, I love the mass, but... Come on, give me some flow. I want to see the mass that flows well. The balance. I want to see a balanced, massive physique. Not like this, man. Come on. 
I get it. It should it, it shouldn't be and it can't be um, ignored. This kind of conditioning and this much mass. But I would also hate to see aesthetics and, and great flow ignored, like it happened with Wayne Walker. Anyways, Indie Pro is in the past. What's gonna happen next weekend is New York Pro, and this is Hassan Mustafa. One week out? Is this one week out? I don't know, man. I mean, look at the legs, like those cuts or the lack of them. That's not very impressive. I mean, I wanted to say those cuts are not very deep, but there aren't any cuts, basically. I mean, the, uh, the legs look really blurred. Uh, the chest, yeah, sure, it does look kind of straight, but then the stomach, not very good. I don't know if this is recent or not, but uh, yeah, this, not very good. Not very good. Compare it to Nick Walker one week out. I mean, take a look at the legs and the dryness, the, the stomach as well. Everything really. I mean, the only way, the only part, the only body part that Hassan has more ripped than than Nick is the chest because Nick really doesn't have strong upper chest. His chest is his upper chest is very weak, and he knows that. He admits that. So he doesn't really have those deep cuts and that alive muscle that Hassan has in the chest. But other than that, I mean, the legs, the stomach, everything. Nick is just way more conditioned, way more. After that update of Hassan, he posted another one. Here is another one. And here he is under better lighting. So I guess he does look a little bit more ripped. But I guess it's the same thing like in the photo before. Sure, he's ripped through the chest and shoulders and, and arms. But you cannot really see his midsection or his legs where he does hold a lot of a lot of water or fat or whatever it is. But he's not, he's not really in great conditioning. No, it doesn't seem like that. But he does have the, the right structure, a lot of mass, uh, great physique overall, and even with, uh, with a poor conditioning like that, uh, it's gonna be hard to get him out of that top three. But to win the show against this freak, I mean, look at the graininess of his physique, Nick Walker looks absolutely tremendous, I mean, he looks amazing at this point. A uh, mutant, as his nickname is, a true mutant, at five days out, he is absolutely peeled, super hard, grainy, gnarly, you name it. I mean, this is just impressive. This is just, this is just freakiness, sheer freakiness. And preparedness, like he's prepared for the show properly. He is showing it to us right now that he wants that New York Pro. He wants it bad. Nobody wants it as much as he does, and that's why he's putting all the work in, and that's why he has results like this. Here is another shot of his legs. <laughs> I haven't really seen these dry legs in a long time. And this vascular as well, but that's varicose veins. That's not very good. Not very pretty. I mean, it does make him look more of a, of a freak or a mutant, uh, but not very aesthetic. I don't think the judges will love this. I also don't think judges are going to knock him for it because uh, open bodybuilding is not classic. It's all about being nasty. And Nick Walker is absolutely nasty and he's going heavy at this New York Pro 2021 title. Next thing I wanted to mention is not good news, it's horrible news for bodybuilding, it's uh, two great bodybuilders, great prospects in bodybuilding dying in one week. What a disaster, what a sad, sad week. So you have Fahd Al-Hazazi and Santil Kumaran, I apologize if I pronounce their names incorrectly, but as you can see, guys, they, they died in, in one week. In one week, two great bodybuilders from different causes, of course. But they are gone anyway. So I wanted to mention this and to say rest in peace. For the very end of this video, we have Dexter Jackson, who just posted this video of himself talking about something. It's not really the point here. What is the point is him being downsized. He's seriously downsized. And that's normal. That was his plan all along. After retiring, he wanted to lose some muscle because it's not really healthy. He has been huge for so long, for basically 50 years. So since he was like 20 until he was 50, let's say 30 years of holding on to a lot of muscle. A lot of muscle. So now he's downsized. I'm sure he feels good. I'm sure he is healthier and he knows what he's doing. But it's kind of weird, honestly, to see Dexter looking like this. Dexter, who was always a freak, I mean, not really a freak, like, compared to Ronnie Collin, but still a huge bodybuilder. And he's been around for a long time, so we kind of got used to seeing him huge all year around, and now we see him looking like this. It feels weird, man. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but, yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Tell me what you think about Dwayne Walker. Did he really deserve that 9th, or should he have he placed higher? 
I would have him in, in top 4, top 3 if you ask me. But that's just me. Whatever you think, tell me down below. Also tell me about Morgan Aced. Wasn't he ripped? And what do you think is gonna happen at the New York Pro? I mean, is it gonna be Hassan, Nick Walker, or somebody else? Blessing or Justin Rodriguez? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe, guys, for more videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.